Uh, we've got Jay Rosen on the show. Uh, Jay, uh, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Good. Um, so, I mean, first of all, um, Joe said, have you heard London Resort most likely will happen? What do you, What are your thoughts on London Resort? Because this has been like a decade worth of news and we're finally getting to the point where next year we'll start to see construction break ground on this project. If the London Resort happened, it would be my new home park. So obviously I want it to happen, but at this point it's been delayed so many times I doubt it's going to go ahead. But obviously if it does, it would be fantastic for many different reasons. Yeah, hundred percent. And um, going on about the rest of today's news, then Shrek 4D closing at Universal Studios Orlando. Uh, you know, it's been operating since two thousand three. Um, I mean, there's been whispers of Despicable Me, whispers of Secret Life of Pets, secret uh, whispers of different things. I mean, what do you think is going to be going into that spot? Uh, hopefully for twenty twenty three. I'm hoping it's not another Despicable Me attraction. I, I don't think I don't see a point if. Well, Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem's across the street from it. If their best call to plan, I think, is to add Secret Life of Pets or another Illumination-themed ride and make that sort of an area of the park. Yeah, that's definitely a good shout. And sticking with Universal Studios Orlando then, uh, Revenge of the Mummy's Refurbishment, a lengthy refurbishment from January to the summer. Uh, what are your thoughts? And if you were to refurbish the ride yourself, what would you do to the experience? update uh, well it the uh, the animatronics definitely needed updating i i last went on it i've been before i went on it a couple of years ago now and it started to feel a bit tired like some of the effects weren't working so to be honest with you i don't think the attraction itself needs changing it's more just making sure everything's up to scratch again yeah and would you i mean one of the rumors is repainting the track and putting in some new animatronics would that be on your list of priorities for the refurbishment as well oh yeah, yeah. The, the the track well obviously you can't really see it it's in the dark so that's less important but obviously maintenance is key especially if it's in a park which has as which is as busy as universal is it's one of the busiest parks in the world and in terms of the animatronics once again, all of the effects really needed just a bit of TLC to get them back up to how they were when the attraction first opened. Yeah, 100% agree with you. And then finally, SNS Axis Coaster coming to Europe in 2023. I mean, this is probably the news that many roller coaster enthusiasts have been waiting for but didn't really expect. I mean, what's your first reactions to the news? My first thought was I don't think it's going to go to a Merlin Park. To be honest with you, I know that's going against what a lot of people have said, and that's purely because Chessington are getting that world's first in 2023. And I don't see that Merlin buying another, taking that much of a risk again in the same year. However, there uh, there has apparently been a lot of tree clearing spotted at Thorpe, so that's the only. If it was a Merlin park, I, the only reason I I, I, hit, I heard that on uh, Theme Park Worldwide's most recent video about the Fright Nights. I don't know how true that is, but. If it was a Merlin Park, that's the only one I could see it going to, to be honest, at this point. But for other European parks, I don't think it's Port Aventura because they're rumoured to be guessing the hot racers. I'm sure you're aware. Energylandia, that's probably everyone's go-to, but I doubt that's going to happen. Wallaby Holland's one that's been thrown around a lot. I can see that happening, especially since they've very quickly moved up the ranks with stuff like Untamed as well. Uh, Toverland is another one I'd throw in there as well because of their massive expansion they're getting. And if they had the room, Fantasia Land as well, probably. Apart from that, I can't really see any of the other parks getting it. Yeah, it definitely feels like Wallaby Holland's been a name that's been thrown about quite a lot by a lot of different sources. I mean, would you see... I mean, it's been four years since Untamed, so would you see Wallaby Holland as, a, as one of the most likeliest of guesses? And, you know... What 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 theme would you give it if it was at Wallaby Holland? I don't really know about theme, but four years. I don't know how they what their track records like with in terms of years of their coasters, but four is reasonable for quite a few parks worldwide. I mean, you could say the same for a place like Alton Towers, to be fair, which which has hasn't had one since was the Wicker Man, twenty eighteen, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's been quite some time as well. So they're probably going to be due one shortly too. But, like I said earlier, Merlin's unlikely. They're probably off the table for it. But going back to Wallaby Holland, I don't see a real theme. I can't really predict a theme they'd go with for it at the time being. 
because Wallaby Holland aren't really known for doing IPs or anything like that. So you can't base anything off of that. Yeah, hundred percent, mate. And um, sort of going on then quickly about uh, Alton Towers. Obviously, there's it's still up in the air what's going to go on for next year. If there's going to be any kind of new attraction next year, I mean, obviously there has been the whispers about Subterra uniforms walking around Scarefest, and there's still popping up rumors about the rebirth of Subterra. I mean, what do you think is going to go on for 2022? If anything's going to go on for 2022, first of all, if anything was to go ahead for 2022. It would probably, it's very unlikely, but the only thing I could see them doing is starting to remove the temporary fair rides at the end of the year to try and get some more permanent replacements. Because in my opinion, towers do not need another coast for the time being. They need to focus on flat rides. Like that's the reason why Thorpe, as much as their coasters aren't as good as Orton Towers, they have a more complete park, if that makes sense. Because just because they've got a better collection of flats. Yeah, hundred percent. And um, when, in your opinion, when, where would you, when would you expect to see maybe the first sort of signs of Secret Weapon Nine? Would you maybe see twenty twenty two as being the year of the first plans, or would you wait another year or two for it? I'd probably say, well, I'm. Pr- I, I heard. I also heard somewhere, also probably a rumor that they, they started. They started planning Secret Weapon Nine, like talking about it in like twenty nineteen. So. 2022 this is just rumors that i've heard like don't take anything seriously of course just from like reading comments on youtube but 2022 would be the earliest i'd expect to see plans but obviously don't have in 2021 2023 is the earliest i'd see break ground maybe 2023 if it's not a massive attraction or 2024 but i can't see 2023 being a possibility for for sw9 2024 seems more likely to me (laughs) 